Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this will be the intro until the 15th of October. I will be doing the pay per minute special again, guys. We do have some rules and regulations this time, okay? I will be taking phone reads for the pay per minute special as well as video reads for the pay per minute special, but you have to schedule your reading first. I will not answer a direct call. If you email me, I'll let you know when your time, when the slot is available, or if some, like I have some clients that do pay and then they get it later, I'll reserve that slot for you at that particular time. But this is first come, first serve, guys, okay? This is first come, first serve. When you pay is when you get your appointment or when you get your scheduled session. So we're gonna keep it at that. Um, I will not, like I said, I will not be taking calls because I had a couple people that called me last time and felt, felt like because I was on the phone that I was available to talk. No, that is not how that works. You have to schedule this session with me, but it is $1 per minute. So however many minutes you need, that's how many minutes you pay for. Um, you guys can reach me through my email, intimatewithsomtarot at gmail.com. It is not, guys, this special is not on my website. It is not on my website. So you have to come to me directly for the pay per minute special, guys. Um, just an update, we will be doing the live energy read, the special live energy read every Monday um, for the month of October. Um, and each Monday I will dress up as a different person or character. And you will have to guess the first three people to guess who I am. Every Monday when I do my live read, we'll receive a free personal read from me. For those of you that won yesterday, congratulations. I was Kermit for those of you that um, did not guess it. Got a lot of wild guesses. Um, some of them were really good, but I was Kermit, guys. I was giving you all the tea for the rest of the month so we're gonna go ahead and get into these reads hopefully you guys enjoy like i said for my new subscribers hey how y'all doing for my old subscribers what's up peace i love all of y'all um damn it i love all of y'all that's all i got peace y'all hey air signs it's nicola so we'll be doing the daily read for october the 11th right yep october the 11th 2018 this will be for my air signs like i have stated um gemini Libra, and aquarius so I got asked what decks I'm using for my Halloween decks for my Oracle deck. I am using the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Um, it's pretty cool. I didn't, I wasn't too sure about it at first, um, but I like it. All right, and for my tarot deck, I will be using the Halloween Tarot. This is by Kipling West. So I don't know if you guys can see that. This is what that looks like. Let me see if I can get the box. So this is what the box looks like. It's the same as the little box, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like, I really like these. These are awesome. So let's get started. Um, probably should leave that out for the rest of my videos because I'm not even sure what video someone asked me that on. So let's see what messages we have for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October the 11th, 2018. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, October the 11th, 2018, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Y'all need to just let it loose, because I got a sneeze that will not come. I keep going, come on, come on now, get it together, let it loose. Eight of Cups, mm. time to walk away, let it loose, I told you. Some of y'all need to let it loose. So let's see what's going on with that Eight of Cups. Knight of Wands, Emperor, Chariot, Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, Movement. It's a lot of motherfucking movement. Y'all doing a lot of movement. Eight of Cups walking away from whatever you've been in suspension in. Some of you guys have been in suspension with the situation, waiting on the situation. Um, trying to be patient is what I'm getting. But now... Some of y'all like, I, I got to check the deuces because you're not putting any life into me. I got to take control of my own life, break free from whatever this is that you're trying to keep me trapped in. Eight of Cups walking away from all of this unhappy shit that I've been dealing in. All right, so Knight of Wands here. This Knight of Wands is moving very passionately. He doesn't have a lot of expression, but he does have a lot of passion. So he may not be expressing a lot, but... Queen of Wands, you're moving. Very passionate about where you're moving, how you're moving. Knight of Wands. Eight of Wands moving swiftly toward your happiness, toward what makes you happy, um, away from stagnation, hoping. You're worried. You're very hopeful, but you're worried at the same time. So 
think yesterday I said you guys are moving impulsively. That continues today. There is a movement. Um, Emperor here may be taking charge of a situation, dealing with an Aries. So you guys could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a, I got Aries, Scorpio, and Cancer in this read. So we got the Emperor here. Why is this Emperor here? Guarded. Someone could have been guarded, holding themselves in. This Frankenstein is holding himself back here. Page of Cups, Queen. Okay, Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords. Nine of... Ooh. So some of you guys are needing to make a decision to move forward. You're stagnant because you're afraid. So you may be being guarded or controlling your emotions, controlling in your emotions moving forward with the situation. This was in the past um, because you were expecting the worst. But for some of you guys, you're raising your vibrations and you're in the search for something higher. You may have been in a situation where um, either everything was stagnant, stagnant at bay you're in suspension, waiting for clarity within the situation. <laughs> All right, I was trying to make sure she wasn't biting that cord right there. All right, so let's see why this chariot is here. This is moving. Some of you guys could be dealing with uh, cancer, but this is moving. Someone packing up their bags. This is, they in, a, they in a hearse, so they leaving. All right, the Ace of Pentacles going toward a new opportunity. Hermit withdrawal going within. Oh, the new opportunity is an empress. So you're going toward a new opportunity to give birth to your dreams, to start something new, maybe a nurturing energy. Choosing this, choosing to give birth to your dreams, choosing to go after your passions. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra or a Taurus, moving toward them. But this is a very loving, very high vibration energy. Um, very passionate too. Some of you guys are moving toward passion. Eight of Wands, communicating. So there could be some communication. Um, spicy communication. Truth coming out. Yep, truth. Someone's coming with some messages of the truth. Of my choice. This is the choice that I am making. So you may be telling someone I'm choosing you. Or someone may be telling you I'm choosing you. But this is the communication that's coming in. Give me one more for this Eight of Wands. Give me one more for this Eight of Wands. Will of Fortune, Yeah. So this may be a choice that's being made to move forward, communicating that choice, actually moving, because this is a lot of movement going on, going away from whatever you've had. Six of Wands, very successfully moving. Taurus, mm, so some of you guys could be doing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Leo energy underneath, very happy. Hey, mama, holding, standing in your power. You could have been guarded, but there's a new opportunity. Some of you guys are moving toward it, taking the new opportunity. Very happy about the new opportunity. Hmm. Whole lot of movement. Y'all were moving quickly yesterday. So I guess y'all decided to go on. Shit, let go on do the damn thing. <laughs> so let's see what uh, messages we have. I'm gonna pull out these uh, Halloween oracles. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> let's see what we got for my air signs. Y'all, I just want y'all to know every day because I do my videos in alphabetical order. Y'all are first. Now, sometimes, you know, it be going smooth, but no lie. Almost, I say about out of a five, I do my readings five days out of a week. Out of five days, maybe three of those days, I have a problem loading y'all video and y'all end up being either second, third, or last. It gives me an error every time and you know what it's because y'all so nitpicky that i have to change the title two three times before it go through so i'm gonna need y'all to work with me <laughs> work with me i guess y'all say i ain't gotta be first as long as i'm right all right so let's see what we got y'all my rising this era i'm a gemini rising so i'm not picking on y'all because that's how i am it has to be right um so that's why i'll be tripping i'll just go ahead and go with the flow what we got for gemini libra and aquarius Ooh, first part is powerful gemini libra and aquarius October 11th, 2018, Gemini, we're going to Well, that's me. So, fortune meets opportunity as the underlying energy card popped out. First card popped out was the light after the darkness. It's a new dawn for you guys. Some of you guys are understanding the sacredness of having to pause, take a step back, go within so that you can understand how to weave or create this new opportunity, this new life, this new passion that you are bringing birth to. Okay, that creating ashes through the darkness. You're creating something beautiful for yourself. Light after the dawn, you're seeing things from a new perspective and you're moving toward that. Whole lot of movement. I love y'all. Peace.